Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number 45 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So students in Ms. Guerrero's class must complete at least 40 math problems for homework every week. And guess what? We don't need that information, especially that number 40 um, doesn't really show up. It does show up a little bit in some of these denominators. So I guess that's kind of the trick right there. But we don't really need that number 40. Really, we're just looking at the progress of these four students, Katie, D'Angelo, Grace, and Jonah, and we need to do it from greatest to least. So since everything here is either decimal, it's going to be percent, uh, or it's going to be fraction, there's our 40 right there, then we are going to kind of ignore this 40, and we're just going to look at these amounts here. Now, how do we order these from greatest to least when you have decimals, percents, and fractions? And we even have a proper fraction, Jonah, two-thirds, and an improper fraction, D'Angelo. Well, there are several ways to do it. But the easiest way to do it is going to be to turn everything into a decimal. So let's just always think of that. When in doubt, guys, turn things into decimals. Uh, so look, Katie's good. Katie's already a decimal. We might need to add a zero or two afterwards. We always want to extend it uh, to the same place value as all the other ones. So if we need to make that 0.40 or 0.400, we can. How do we turn a percent to decimal? So let's look at that first. So we have percent to decimal. And let's look at grace. So grace is 100%. When you're changing a percent to a decimal, it's a pretty simple process. You move the decimal point two times to the left. If you're ever going from a decimal to percent, you just move it two times to the right. Now. There is no decimal in 100%. So if there's anything tricky about how to change a percent into a decimal, it's where is the decimal, right? It's not like it's 10.0%. If there is no decimal, you always look at the ones place, right? So here's our hundreds, here's our tens, here's our ones. It always goes after the ones place. So it's 100 point. Or if we wanted to, uh, we could call that 100.0. That would be fine. So it's 100 point. And then we just move it twice to the left, once, twice, and we drop the decimal, the percent sign. So guess what? 100% equals 1. Just plain old 1. One whole. So all percents that are less than 100 are less than 1. So we're going to call this 1. And I'm going to just at least put a decimal back there. 1.0, let's call it 1.00. Let's look at our 0 0.4, and let's go ahead and put a, let's get, put something in the hundredth place there so we can kind of line things up. So what we have now are two fractions. How do you change a fraction to a decimal? Well, it's pretty simple. You divide up, and that's why decimals are always the easiest um, method of just getting everything into one form. Changing things to fractions can kind of be a pain sometimes. Decimals and percents are really easy to move in and out of. So how do we change from a fraction to a decimal? Well, we divide up. So looking at the long division here, we have 0.66 repeating for 2 thirds. Um, it just goes on and on and on and on, so put the little bar up here. And then we've got 1.125 for D'Angelo. That's our 45 over 40, 1, 2, 5. And since that's going to the thousandths place, we can add a 0 here. We can add a 0 here. We're not going to add a 0 to the 2 thirds. We're going to actually make that another 6. So it's 666 repeating. So now we have all of our values. Now we just need to go greatest to least. So our greatest is going to be this D'Angelo right there because it's 1.125. So that's our 45 40th. So let's look at that. And you know what? B is the only one that has that. Let's make sure everything else is good. 45 40th, yes, 100%, 2 thirds, that looks good. B is our answer. 